Hi Taurus, it's L here to do a quick reading for you. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. So Taurus, it looks like in the past, um, you kind of systematically did something. You planted a lot of good seeds. I don't know if it's just karma or this is just like investments or money. Um, things are going to pay off for you. Uh, it looks like you did something uh, ritualistically or you have like some type of routine or regimen. I don't know if it was like you put, put in money to the savings account or I don't know. You just was like putting something up, putting it up, putting it up so that you could have something to draw from. It looks like in the now, in the present, the Ace of Pentacles, there's some opportunity being handed to you by way of the divine opportunity to grow something, start something. This could be anything. It's just like you understanding that you could really do something for yourself. Um, it talks about the highest level of psychological development. You could have been saving your money. So this could be like opportunity to move or get your own place or apartment, home, whatever. Uh, you did something like ritualistic, like I'm going to save this amount of money each and every week, every other day. I don't know. It's just like you, you did it. You stuck with it. The king of pentacles in the near future, you know, it looks like you're going to be at a place of easy street or the money is working for you. Whatever you put your money to, whatever you are doing, it looks like um, it's paying off. This could even be residual. I just got residual. Something about systematic approach, practicality and math and being mathematical. So it's like you kind of broke something down to the, to the science of or to the, you get the math of it all. If I do this or I put this amount here at this time every week or every other day or do this then i'll have this amount um, so that i can you know fill in the blank move have my own uh, apartment home uh, car something of that nature the advice here it looks like your advice it talks about completely about love and loved ones and trying to take people from your past with you or maybe emotions from your past some of you are dealing with some deep-seated issues. You, you got to deal with that because it keeps cropping back up in love relationships, whether it's friendships, romantic, or familiar, okay? It's just like you're, you're not pushing through. You're not getting through to, okay, uh, so that you can actually have what it is you want in a love relationship. We've got to call judgment on maybe some Scorpio. Yeah, uh, some Scorpio energy here. Or, is this, or if it's not a Scorpio person, it's the deep. It's the think of Scorpios as, as deep stagnant water sometimes in, in the, the flip side or the low vibration of Scorpio. It's the deep, deep, murky, you know, swamp water. You don't know how deep that water is. You don't know what's under that water. And it's like that's your emotions that you haven't dealt with, the suppression or the repressed emotions here. And it's like it could come from, you know, past relationships where you weren't treated the best. You didn't get what you wanted. You've got to deal with that so that you can actually move forward, um, so that you can actually uh, have what it is you want. For some of you, you think about leaving a relationship or a marriage. You put a lot of time, energy, effort into the relationship, into the marriage, but you're staying for the children, but you're absolutely unhappy or you're missing something or you're feeling like you're missing out. This could be fear of missing out also. For some of you, you're going to have an extreme amount of harvest in terms of all of the hard work that you did in the past, and this could be in career and money or whatnot. There could be some loved one, friend, whomever approaching you about a business venture idea. It says it's a go, but just go over all contractual type of documentation just to you know cover your own basis here. It says if there's like contention, discord, drama, within a relationship, any type of relationship, call a truce, you know, wave the white flag. It's not worth it. You're about to get, I heard recompense for all that you've done or you are doing or you have done. Oh, okay. So you have done and all of the wrong done to you. You're about to get rewarded, repaid for this. This could be somebody who has North Node in Taurus. Look that up. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Oh, they just showed me. So some of you have been dealing with somebody who was married for a very long time. You knew that this person was married or already coupled. 
you know, right now all they want from you is the opportunity to have a new sexual encounter with you. And in the near future, they're going to stay married or be married or uh, continue this. And it's always going to be, um, I don't know, like some type of love affair where you miss out or you don't get what you want or you end up missing them. And you're going to have to come to a place eventually of deciding is this your life? Is this what you want to be second stream? Okay. That's what I have. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. I do drink coffee. I like it. You could buy me a coffee. If you took something from the reading, yes, go ahead, give something back. Thank you to those who do so. Uh, if you want to be around business minded individuals, go ahead and book your discovery call with me to see if I can be of assistance to you. And if you want to just, um, congregate with business minded individuals each and every month, join the KTMG, keep the momentum going, a uh, monthly conference call where we go over, uh, practical, uh, and spiritual advice as to how to start, maintain, and grow your business. Okay. Um, I'm live every, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.